Alrighty, hey Nuggets, it is your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance, and this is going to be a TT talk. Um, it is said that you don't speak about and don't bring up things that don't affect you. So when you talk about them, that means you still it still affects you. It's still you know it's it's something there that's triggering or you know it's a little sore spot for you so I'm not talking about nobody but me in being on this spiritual journey I have learned a lot about myself I have learned a lot about how I communicate with others, how I function, how my energy affects other people. I am also learning who I am to myself. That is what, um, that is what this spiritual journey for me has done. It has opened me up to who I am who I want to be and who I was. I'm going to speak on some things that trigger me, that touch points and spots in me that may trigger some people. And it may, you know, the people that it's supposed to reach, it probably won't. But powering off. I am going to do this. Oh, yeah, I had to turn that off. Um, turn my music off. Forgot about that. Um, there is so much going on here in the world that it is time for us to come together and see things in a way that has not been seen before tradition is not working what we've been taught and what we've known is not working so for those of us who consider ourselves light workers and people who are working on growth in a spiritual manner and being healed and whole and being an ambassador for God um, yes I've heard that ambassador for Christ thing yes I get it what we're going to I'm, I'm expanding beyond that we are going to be we are striving to be ambassadors for God um, and in a place of wholeness and connection with the divinity that God has breathed into us for ourselves and when you are a person that does that wholeheartedly, when you are a person that does that from your soul and from your spirit, people that know you get this um, energetic agitation because that means if you are seeing yourself in a particular light who gave you the audacity to do that who told you to see yourself like that and when you do and you actually you know you embrace that and you love who you are as a person people that don't take that as an insult to them when they have especially when there are those who are more of the 3d realm and aspect um more about what i have what i can consume what um the wrapping around me rather than the core of the self it is you know more about what I have and what I can consume and the way I dress and, and and all of these things and then when you 
peel back all of those things because I think that's another thing that um, God did with this whole quarantine thing was peel back some stuff for people for people and actually show them themselves and their worth and when you are a person who does not require the outside wrappings when you started to peel those things away and you are who you are from the inside it triggers people I have always taken myself to be not just smart um, but a beautiful being a beautiful person um, not in the sense of the outside world of course because I grew up I was fat I had um, hormone issues I had um, gifts and that that's where I believe the whole um, black sheep thing came from comes from is people can't be around light I am not in any way putting myself above anyone that's not that's not it I am always I've always been a person to if we're going to believe the Bible, if, we're, if we've been pushed to believe the Bible, so let's, let's believe a few things about ourselves. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So if I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, and you are too, why is it not okay for me to be confident in myself just as I look, just as I am, just as I feel, just as I show up? If God loves me that much to put me on this planet, on this earth, in the body that I am in, in the spirit that I am in, and we're supposed to be in this together, we're supposed to be um, brothers and sisters, how can you hate on someone who is doing nothing but being who they are who God made them to be who God presented them to be on this earth this person's not done anything to you but exist and be and that offends you why why does someone else's confidence in themselves and their initiative and their drive offend you so we're supposed to be walking in God's image. We're supposed to be walking in faith and in favor and imitating who Jesus was. And I am speaking to those of us who follow Jesus, those of us who choose to follow whatever, take it as it applies because I am it doing the cards is fine that's fine that's 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 just a way to help me to focus and channel the energy you don't agree with that okay but there are many other things and many other aspects not just I'm not only speaking of myself I'm speaking of other people I'm just coming from my perspective I have spoken on my various social medias about um, supporting each other and loving each other and encouraging each other. Even if there are certain aspects of things that you do that I don't agree with, I am in no way going to impede or try to stop you from doing what you feel is your calling. So in saying that, why is it not okay for you to reciprocate that same drive and love for someone else? I'm not saying you have to agree with their behavior. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. 
What I am saying is be and allow. Be who you are. You want people to, you know, you don't care if people understand you. You don't care if people like you. But the thing is, is you do. We all do. But what we do not need to do is allow people's limiting beliefs of who they think we are or who they think we should be to stop us or impede us from moving forward in what God told us to do. No longer allowing your outside world to influence you is a whole other different kind of freedom. Hold on guys, I'm going to plug this in. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it has come to my awareness that people one will take your kindness for a weakness especially if you are of a kind and giving nature people that don't have that will surround themselves with people who do so that they look like they have it um but then when it is time for them to actually put their money where their mouth is so to speak not specifically speaking of money i am speaking of uh time energy other forms of resources um they are fine with receiving they're fine with getting we all are but we're supposed to in all our getting get understanding of how it flows okay so sure yes we want to receive but do we know how to give do we know how to reciprocate the same energy that we ourselves want TT talks are, you know, random. So when it comes in, it comes in. Take it how it, how it's given. I get a lot of. I have gotten a lot of lessons. A lot of lessons from family and what it means to be family and I'm not just talking blood because I have a sister who is not my blood but that's my one and I also have a sister who is my blood yeah we don't always see eye to eye with our sisters with our family period not just sisters we don't always see eye to eye with our family and that's okay. We're supposed to evolve and grow and allow each other to to expand. But there is... Um, I'm just going to speak on my family. There is an energy within us that pits us against each other. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But I have always noticed that... Um, within my family dynamic both in the nucleus and extended I've always been the one to be different and stand out and do things a different way and want things done my way but I put my my things to the side because there was always a draw from someone who needed me and it wasn't um it's not that it um at that time before I knew better it wasn't that it was a burden it was this is what I'm here for but I've also had to learn that I cannot take on other people's karma I cannot be that person that feeds you and continuously gives 
and supports and does when one is not reciprocated and two what are you learning when you are being enabled to continue not pushing forward and not growing I had to learn that for myself and it took me a few cycles of a few different people to catch it you can catch it really really well with outside people you will cut outside people off really quickly and and I've done that I've done the whole you know what I see shade I see bullshit and cut it off it is much more difficult to do that with people who you've grown up with and who are your family it is much more difficult because that whole um, well blood is thicker than water and I've learned to I've learned that I've had to try to create my own core my own system my own go to my own family and in doing that I have also learned that energetically those around you who see that you are doing something that they are not or that they cannot will do everything they can not just in the physical because some people will smile in your face they will hug you they will call you family and they will stab you in your back so understand that it's not just what people present to you I have been going on that my entire life and it was the wrong thing to do people will tell you especially when you know or you you are a person who is very sensitive and and can feel things you're an empath you you know you you feel that when you are extra sensitive to those things people will lie to you because they don't want you to see the true and real them they are lying not just to you but then they're lying to themselves we are responsible for our own healing we are responsible for our own lives the things that happen to us outside this world is not someone else's responsibility to fix and I was doing that I was hurting on the inside for myself feeling everybody else's stuff I'm gen generally I'm a very I'm a very cerebral inside my head kind of person but I'm very upbeat I'm very happy generally but when getting around certain energies it's draining because you have to continuously or you feel that you have to continuously feed this person because they don't know how to feed themselves they don't know how to get true love and understanding and of self for themselves and that alignment with God and God's love for you so I just it has been a very interesting last couple of years especially without my my go-to gals my grannies my nana but I'm also learning that I lead I lead I lead from 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 the back and that is what a wise teacher does and and I have also had some wise teachers who have led from the back they take their hands off but they're still there just like God is always still there to, to hold you and catch you when you go too far okay so when it comes to not being supported in your immediate energy in your immediate surroundings remember that there are 7.7 .7 billion there's almost 8 
billion people on this planet. Your small area of where you are in your immediate surroundings doesn't always have to give you that doesn't always have to give you that push. There are 8 billion people on this planet. Not one of those people that support you have to be your family or people you know. And I'm understanding that. I have had someone contact me from Egypt for a personal guidance reading. God has made the world that small. Eight billion people on this planet and you're worried about your immediate area. Not anymore. Not anymore. So, for those who are in situations with loved ones and people in their environment who want you to do good because they don't want you in, in, in their you know in their mix but don't want you to do better than them because who are you to do better <sighs> I am going to say this and you take the words from it as just words but take the energy of it and expand on it fuck them And I don't mean in the manner of not loving and not appreciating, appreciating people. Don't allow people to change your heart and your core. But also set your boundaries and let people know where they're fucking up with you. Hold on. I want to close this out. Because um, of course, that's probably what my sign is go ahead and let this be 2222 on the clock so yeah I'll just go ahead and let this be but um yeah just walk in your divinity we're not um none of us are perfect I good God almighty knows I I used to try to be I used to try to you know if I did this this way these people would like me if I did this this way then these people would like me and at this point TT has whoa finally gotten to the point where I don't care and it's not um, it's not a, I'm better in the sense of an arrogance of I have this or I have that or I know this or I know that it is, I am not going to allow anybody else to tell me who I am or what I can do, who I can reach, who I can talk to, who can talk to me. Direct your life in the manner that you see fit and not how others think you should. Because in all honesty, they're thinking you should do something and they have not made the first move. Okay? So, lead by example and lead from the back. Um, I had someone tell me to teach up. So, guess what? We are now teaching up. All right? So, mind your energy, govern yourself accordingly, keep growing. People don't like it, tough shit. People don't like what comes out of your mouth, they don't have to listen. Okay? But walk in your divine given authority of your life for yourself. You are who you are because God made you that way. If there are things that you need to work on, it'll happen. Let your sandpaper and your buffers steer you and guide you. Okay? Know that you are loved. Know that God loves you. 
You're not going to hell. Don't let somebody put you somewhere they don't own. Nobody owns a heaven or hell to put you in. So, do you your way. Somebody likes it, cool. If they don't, that's fine too. But do you to your level of 10. Do you. Live you. Love you. Explore and experience more you. And then those who gravitate towards that will come. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. You know that. You do that. You walk in that. Billionaire status. Call it out. Because it's coming. They don't have to like it, babies. Let them go get it for themselves. You got yours. Move forward. Blessings and light.